with the definition of anabolic deliciousness right here on this plate. Welcome back to the Anabolic Hub. We make anabolic deliciousness. We're back inside my kitchen today and we are revisiting a classic. We are diving back into the Coach Greg Doucette Ultimate Anabolic Cookbook 2.0 and we are taking a look at the Anabolic Apple Pie Breakfast Bake. To all my early followers out there, you know that this was one of my favorite recipes from the cookbook. It is fantastic. It is a great way to meal prep French toast for the entire week. It tastes incredible. Would you believe that I found one more ingredient to add in that makes this already fantastic recipe even better, because I have. And we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna add it in two different times during the cooking process. Everything else stays the same. I'm gonna show you at which point to add it in. I've already done a lot of the prep work for it, so we're gonna go super quick. We're gonna go through the cooking process. We're gonna make the recipe just like Greg says, except we're gonna add in that special ingredient two times during the cooking process. After that, we're gonna bake it up, head over to the taste test table, and see how we've managed the next level what might be the greatest breakfast recipe of all time. But let's get things started by having a look at the ingredients. Here we go. A lot of apples, a lot of egg whites, ground cinnamon, vanilla extract, swerve, granular, some torn up bread, and our magical ingredient that we will reveal at the proper time. So the best part about this recipe is that after you've done all the prep work, getting the apples ready and your bread ready, it is so simple to make. You're just mixing everything together and popping it into a preheated oven. So we're gonna get things started here by mixing together the liquid base first. You need a ton of egg whites for this. Then we add in the cinnamon, zero calorie sweetener, and what's French toast without some vanilla extract? Then we whisk. And much like any other anabolic French toast base, you wanna make sure all your cinnamon is wet and all of the other ingredients are well combined and mixed in with your egg whites. I've made this recipe a ton of times and I found the best approach next is to add in your bread first that you've torn up into several small pieces. So you can see that here, we're gonna put this into our egg white mixture. It's really gonna allow it to absorb the best so we're gonna do that next. And once you get your bread into the bowl, you wanna make sure you get it all submerged. Just use your whisk because you don't wanna spill any of the anabolic deliciousness. Gently submerge <laughs> all of the bread into the egg white mixture. Now we're gonna give this a couple minutes to absorb in. Now that we have our bread into the egg mixture, now is the first time we're going to add in our special ingredient, which is going to be Primal Palette's Apple Pie Spice. Big shout out to Nicole Burgess. I saw this on her channel. She uses it on her recipes all the time. Had to try it out. I grabbed it. I tried it with this recipe last week. Absolute game changer. Like I said, makes this already fantastic recipe maybe twice as good, and I'm not even exaggerating. So we're gonna add it in now, right over our bread, and then mix it in. Okay, so we have our initial five grams on top of the bread. Now what we're gonna do is just submerge it along with the rest of the bread. Turn the bread over a little bit. And that's it. First time using our special spice is done. I did find that it is best to put the bread into the mixture first rather than adding it into the liquid mixture itself before we put the bread in. I don't know why, it just seems to be more flavorful that way. Probably because it gets into the bread a little bit better. Not exactly sure. All I know is that it is fantastic and that's how I'm doing it. Next step now is to add in our apples. So one of the things I found when I've done this recipe several times is that I cannot fit all the apples along with the bread and the egg mixture into one bowl. So I end up putting most of maybe about half, little more than half of the apples into the bowl. And then once I put them into the two casserole dishes, I add the rest in then. And it's like we're doing a cookie recipe. We're gonna add them in in a couple batches. <laughs> And once you get enough of the apples in where you feel like the whole mixture is about to explode over the top, that's all you want to put in at this point. As you can see, I still have some more apples to put in. We're going to take care of those in a second. But before we do that, we're going to turn over some of this mixture here just to get some of the apples on the bottom. Just mix it up a little bit more. Just gives you a little bit better uh, ingredient disbursement, if you will. And I've definitely learned my lesson with this recipe. You definitely want to use some kind of parchment paper 
on your casserole dish. If you don't, the bottom becomes a sticky mess. As you can see here, the first time I did it, what a mess it turned out to be. It took a while to clean that off, needed a steel brush. It just wasn't a fun time. Using the parchment paper totally eliminates that cleanup. Anything that for some reason may get stuck to the parchment paper, you can just throw it out. It's gonna be minimal. It's not really gonna affect the macros all that much. But now comes the tricky part where we have to transfer our mixture into the casserole dish. I strongly recommend you use a ladle of some kind to put your mixture into the casserole dish. If you do not, it will splatter everywhere and make a huge mess. Trust me, been there, done that. And once you have a good amount of your mixture into the first casserole dish, or if you're just using one, that's fine. The point here is that now we're gonna add in the rest of our apples into the mixture because you do want them to get some of the spice and egg white on them. And because my biggest casserole dish is smaller than last time, I have another one, a backup one, that is a little bit smaller than that one that will fit the rest of this mixture into. We're gonna bake them both up together, and believe me, it's gonna be such anabolic deliciousness, especially with this added spice. So we have all the ingredients now in two casserole dishes ready to bake up, but we have to add in our special ingredient one more time. We're gonna put one more layer across the top of our apple bake here, and trust me, it's going to make it taste so much better. We are ready to bake it up. It's gonna take about 40 to 50 minutes to cook up here. We got our oven preheated. We're gonna pop it in the oven now, and then it's over to the taste test table. Okay, so took the apple bake out of the oven after 40 minutes, and well, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. This is a lot of volume, <laughs> an insane amount of food, six servings. This is six servings. That means you can eat one sixth of this at a time for a little more than 500 calories. That's nuts. I still can't believe it after all these months. <laughs> We're gonna let this finish cooling off for a little bit. Most of it's gonna go in the meal prep containers. Part of it's going on that dish, one sixth to be precise. Then it's over to the taste test table. Oh my God. Smells so good. So I just had to come back in here and show you this part. I mean, I've been making this recipe for months now and every time I'm absolutely amazed at the amount of volume that is in this recipe. It is like so much food. <laughs> you cannot have a serving of this and be hungry after. It's virtually impossible. Coach Greg even says in the book, this has more egg whites and more fruit, making it healthier and less calorie dense than last time. And my God, truer words never friggin' spoken. Okay, that's enough talking about it. Let's take this bad boy over to the taste test table. <laughs> and we're back at the taste test table yet again to try what's probably my favorite anabolic recipe of all time, the anabolic apple pie breakfast bake, Greg Doucette's cookbook 2.0 ultimate anabolic cookbook 2.0 and this is an ultimate recipe man it never ever ever disappoints the volume the flavor adding in our special ingredient that primal palette apple pie spice just takes this to the next level if you haven't tried it yet i highly recommend that you do it makes it so much better and it's already so good on its own right but my goodness very excited to try it again I have here my sugar-free syrup all measured out and ready to go because we don't want to put too much on. I mean, it is like 10 calories for 60 milliliters or something not worth counting like that. But here we have it. We're going to put it over the top of our breakfast bake here. Properly dispersed. Every last drop. <laughs> And we're done. We heard about that extra ingredient. Let's talk about it here during our taste test. See what it does. What it does exactly is it intensifies the apple pie taste even more. And I'm telling you, it's like you're eating apple pie. Before it tasted like apple pie, now it's like a whole new level. Let's give it a go. First bite, best bite with this always. Can't convince me otherwise. No better recipe than this. Here we go. Oh 
Oh man, I don't even have the words for how delicious this is. If you like apple pie, even a little, this is what you should be having for breakfast. If you have Greg's book and you haven't done this recipe yet, you're seriously missing out. You gotta try it. Oh my goodness. So many apples, so much bread, so much volume. It's insane. This is a great meal prep recipe. I make it all the time. It's so simple to do. The longest part, as you can imagine, is dicing up the apples and breaking up the bread. You got breakfast for almost an entire week, six servings, about 500 calories, ton of protein, so delicious. You're gonna be looking forward to breakfast every day, just like I'm going to be for the next five days after this. I also think with that Primal Palette apple pie spice, it brings out more of the flavor in the apples. It adds more flavor to the bread and the French toast. It's just one of those things. It's like adding salt to a recipe. It enhances the ingredients. It enhances the flavor. It's doing all of that here. It gives it just a little bit more of a flavor punch feels like you're eating apple pie for breakfast and the macros are right on point. Now the recipe says to bake this for 40 to 50 minutes. I would definitely check it right at the 40 minute mark. It is perfect when I do it in my oven at the 40 minute mark. You definitely don't wanna go too long. It will burn, it'll be a little too crispy on top. Won't be terrible, but it won't be quite as good as this. You want it to be that perfect French toast consistency. If you see those egg whites starting to come up out of the pan and they're cooked, you know you're done and you wanna take it out. It'll cool, of course, they'll deflate a little bit like all of our anabolic recipes do, but this is still gonna be so much volume, a ton of volume. Even still, when I'm putting it into meal prep containers and I'm dividing it out, I'm always amazed that I get through all five or six of my meal prep containers and I still have more left in the casserole dish because I didn't put enough into the meal prep container. It's just an insane amount of volume. The way this was put together, it was designed to be exactly what the anabolic diet, what the circle diet's all about. High volume, low calorie dense foods. So friggin' good. This is probably the definition of anabolic deliciousness right here on this plate. Is it as simple to make as your traditional anabolic French toast? No, that's obviously one of the reasons why we love our original anabolic French toast. It's so simple to do. It's ready in the blink of an eye. This does take a little bit more work, but trust me, it is totally worth it. You're gonna get something that is so spectacular, you're gonna wonder why you had French toast any other way. <laughs> it's just an unbelievable amount of apples. <laughs> I can't get over how that spice just makes the flavors so much more intense. It's so incredible. All of the flavors are enhanced, from the apples to the bread, to the cinnamon, to the sweetener. Everything just comes out so much more. I've made this enough to know, too. I've probably made this at least I don't know, 20 plus times, probably more. I'll link to it in the description box below. It's not an affiliate link for me, so I'm not gonna get any money if you buy it, but I highly recommend that you do try it. It's so good. It's gonna make this recipe that's already fantastic, like I said, so much better. And that's hard to do because this was already as close to perfect as it could be. What makes this recipe bad is that when it's over, you can't wait for breakfast the next day because you gotta go a whole day before you can have it again. <laughs> I've taken several bites of this plate, and as you can see, the plate's still pretty much full. <laughs> if you've tried this recipe before, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what you think about it. Do you think there's any better breakfast, any better French toast than this? Have you tried it with the Primal Palette apple pie spice before? Do you think it enhances the flavor as much as I think it enhances the flavor? Let's talk about this recipe in the comment section down below. But it's gonna be about that time. I gotta get up out of here, so. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Guys, I almost forgot. Buy his frickin' cookbook, would ya?